I'm running for president. Uh, July 4th, I'll put out the fucking big statement. I don't have my platform all together, but I'm working on it. We're gonna fucking, we're gonna support the troops. That's gonna be number one. No, we are. We're gonna give them a beer. Not a beer, but the right to drink. Not just the troops, anyone who is eligible for the draft, selective service. That means 18 and up, but they're gonna fucking you know, call you an adult, make you act like an adult, you get a fucking drink, like an adult. Such dog shit. All that rhetoric about, oh, they're ready to die for their, they'll die for their country, but they can't even drink. Well, first of all, just change. Well, fuck dying for your country. That's easy. How about living in this country? That's difficult. You're not in the military. You're 18 overnight. You're supposed to be ready to get a job and pay your own way and pick a career and go to college and pay taxes and... You're supposed to be able to fuck all of a sudden at midnight. And you're like, oh, that's, yeah, that's a tough day. You need a fucking drink. That's going to be my fucking yeah, flagship just to get kids to vote. Yeah. They tried to give them Puff Daddy last night. <laughs> oh, give them a fucking cocktail. Alright, I don't have bits about this. I was just saying, I'm running for president. I have all this shit together by the 4th of July. I'm going to make my big announcement. Vote for I already have t-shirts, but I don't have a platform. <laughs> That's the American way. What's the t-shirt say? What's the t-shirt say? It says, drunk with power. <laughs> Stand open 08, drunk with power. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Oh, thanks. You saw that fucking job. Oh, perfect. I've talked to my constituents, and I am not a front runner at this point. Right. No talk. Beer me. Get beardy. Tell me when you're out of drinks, because you've been such a fucking violently drunken fucking idiot. I want to get you completely shit faced and pass out, and we will fuck you. <laughs> You're my Irish girl tonight. <laughs> that was a callback to the last comic you didn't listen to. Yeah, I'll get. I, can you body surf a Coors Light up here? Don't no, think you're fucking. Just pass a Coors Light to everybody and it'll eventually get here. Yeah. I am a drunk. And I'm not. Yay, yeah, spring break. Woohoo, party. Yeah, I'm a fucking failing, miserable alcoholic. But it's worked out. <laughs> Are you drunks? Do you know? Do you even know what it's like to be? Are you at the point your hands shake in the morning? Do you know? Or, do you ever have to fake Parkinson's disease so you don't have to admit that you're a reckless alcoholic at breakfast? And you, oh no, no, it's this is just congenital. No, it's not. It's a, you're a fucking big sauce bag. Pour another shot down your head. Oh, can I get that brown bag up here that I put in the cooler? It's got my Pepsi in it. Flat brown Pepsi. <laughs> in a square green bottle. That's how I hide it. I don't want my wife to find out I, I've been drinking the Pepsi with my diabetes. <laughs> hey, what's up? <laughs> It's very difficult. I don't know. You're all far younger than me, except for three who will rub that in my face. You ain't far younger. I'm fucking 43, so let's hang out. No. <laughs> 39 years old, and it's very difficult to be a drunkard at this age. Like, professionally. I... I mean, profession, I'm not trying to challenge you to a chugging contest. I mean, I'm a professional drunkard in that I do it every night for a living. And I've been drunk for 25 years, and it gets difficult, and it tuckers you out. <laughs> but in the fact that you realize you don't have any friends anymore. I don't have any peers. You're drinking with people, but they're not your friends. You, you don't realize you age. You get older... But the bar 
always stays 22. <laughs> and you keep staying there, woohoo, we're having fun, right? And you don't realize at one point you're just that old creepy guy at the end of the bar, woo, rock on, right? It's not like, these aren't your friends, they might talk to you, but you have nothing to say back. Do you want to hear my new cell phone ringtone? It's 50 cent, <laughs> I got nothing. I, I got real problems, this is not a conversation. But I had friends when I started this party, I had a peer group. I was a young man like Claudia. I had a bunch of people sitting around going, yeah, it's fucking never gonna end. One by one, the cocksuckers drop out on you. They fucking have a baby or they settle for a chick they don't really love because they're you know, afraid to die alone or whatever. They just fucking bail out. No, I can't, I can't, I can't drink with you on a Wednesday. I got, I got responsibilities and stuff, man. We're almost 40. I gotta work tomorrow. You had the same shitty job you had when we were 25 and getting hammered on a Wednesday. What the fuck? You're sitting here at some dance club paying $9 for a drink to be a fucking creepy guy at the end of the bar. Some fucking place with thumping dance music. It's just walking. Dis Come fucking drink with me. I can't, man. I got responsibilities. The fuck? I'm the manager now. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you're in charge of shit you hate. You used to just do shit you hate, but they let you graduate from the blue Oxford shirt to the white Oxford shirt and take off the name tag, and you got responsibilities. No faggot, what you have is the keys. You have the keys to a closed warehouse. We could be drinking there right now. Leave me hanging in this dance club. We could be drinking Costco price beer and having forklift races in your fucking factory. If you weren't such a douchebag. Scared, I'm scared. The system had sucked me in. Why do we even have to drink in a bar? What the fuck? The only time I have fun is getting hammered and then doing shit hammered. My wife would always want to do shit with me that I didn't want to do. I was married and she would go, oh, let's see, I don't want to go look at art with you. I don't understand art. It's a painting. We have cameras now. They used to have to paint. That's archaic. I don't understand. Yeah, it might be difficult, but I don't give a shit. Juggling fucking posters with the fucking heat your heels is difficult. I don't want to watch it for long, right? Yeah, there's a lot of taxes are difficult. I don't want to watch my... What the point is, I don't understand it. I don't want to do it. It's boring. I'm going to go to the bar, is what I'd say. But if you think about it, there's nothing more inherently boring than sitting in a bar except for the fact that we're all getting shit-faced together. <laughs> That's the only thing that makes it interesting. So why can't we get shit-faced together everywhere? Yeah. Why are we relegated to the little stink box behind the McDonald's? Why can't we get shit-faced at the McDonald's and then get shit-faced at the gas station and then shit-faced at the skateboard store? Why can't we get shit-faced at all the places she wanted to go? It's dollar draft night down at the botanical garden. All right, baby. Maybe we will we'll go stare at flowers with you for half a day. <laughs> it's wet t-shirt night at the Holocaust Museum. It's your call. Flip a coin. It's your birthday. I want you to feel like a precious angel. At least that way, maybe some culture would seep in. This is the most fucking boring generation in the history of people. If you're in your early 20s, you got fucked. Because there's nothing going on. We're at a point in time, we're at the border of adrenaline being listed as a controlled substance that they will piss test you for at work on Monday morning. Oh, you came up dirty. 
<laughs> Looks like you've been having fun on the weekend. Is there something you want to tell us, Brian? Some adrenaline in your urine. Are we not enough fun here at the Verizon Wireless family that you need to seek it elsewhere? Like, because you can't do shit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come across as a bitter old prick, but you gotta listen to me. I'm the opposite bitter old prick. Like, what, I mean, every old person, when you were a little kid and you had to listen to your grandpa on his walker, people get old and frail and afraid and they will bitch about the new generation. They always do, but they would always throughout time Bitch about the new kids being too crazy and too out of control. These kids today, look at them, they smoke these marijuana sticks. I read it in U.S. News and World Report. They smoke a marijuana joint and it makes them crazy and then they rape white women and they go out, dance until they fall off a building thinking they can fly. And in our day, if you wanted to have fun, you just went to a barn dance. And we didn't even finger fuck till we were almost 40 or something. It was always that the new kids were too deviant, right? They're too out of control and too immoral. And we're going to be the first generation of old people that's the opposite. We'll be bitching. We'll have our fucking piss bags swinging around our fucking calf like a tether ball. And yeah, yeah. But bitching... The opposite, where we'll be, look at these kids today. They, they, we used to do crank off of titty dancers. And no one got it hurt. We were just having fun and pretending we wanted to see what her tattoo said. These half faggots, they drink a Red Bull and they'd prefer if you went on the patio to smoke. And the closest they've come to a fist fight is on a message board. Fucking zero. Fucking. You looking at my girl? I'm gonna delete you from my MySpace friends. How do you feel about that, faggot? Okay. Yeah, I'm fulfilled as a man. You got some block user coming in your future, bitch. <laughs> fucking internet warriors. The fucking internet. It, I mean, shit like MySpace, yeah, it's fantastic for fucking networking, marketing shit, because I can't go on radio anymore. <laughs> I'm afraid I might say poo-poo. <laughs> that's how we live. That's how we, I smoked a cigarette in Appleton, Wisconsin. They made it illegal to smoke in bars there, too. It's fucking everywhere. And I'm smoking a cigarette before the show in the bathroom. And I'm like worrying about getting caught. I mean, there's a, there's a little rapid heartbeat on some level where, what, what the, and I'm like, this is junior high school, man. That's when I quit junior high school. And now we live in a country that is junior high school. What the fuck? Well, oh, fuck it. It's just, a, I grew up in the 80s and you thought that was the fucking, the, you know, shittiest deal ever. Oh, it's, like that's when they called last call and now it's when they're kicking folks out <laughs> and 20 years to finish that last drink and get the fuck out <laughs>